Hey everyone and welcome to our daily demo. I have Grant here to show us The Sims 3 Late Night, new expansion. For that is series. correct. Yes. Okay, so what's new? And what's hot in Late Night? So everything is hot in Late Night. <laughs> we really wanted to make this modern, sleek expansion that basically returns a little more to the sandbox style of games. We wanted this really cool, huge new city that's completely different than Sunset Valley, Riverview, Twinbrook. Mm -hmm. We wanted to give players tons of different options on ways to sort of approach the night. How do you want to tackle it? Do you yeah. want to be a musician, a celebrity, a vampire, or something that sort of mixes all of them? You could be a mixologist too. Um, there's just a lot of variety, a lot of breadth, and so many different things you could do, and they just pair really well together and make great stories. All right, very cool. So I can see the city right now, and I notice it has like certain themes to it. Reminds us of San Francisco a little bit. Yeah, San Francisco is one of our inspirations. Vancouver, basically small, big cities, and we wanted to go vertical. Um, getting that height was really important to us. We haven't done it before. People are used to you know two, maybe three story sim homes, and yeah. we wanted to move clearly away from the residential area. So if you could zoom down there, you'll see that you know street level. We have got lots of cars busting around. You know, Probably subway more happening in some parts of San Francisco at night. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Taco trucks zooming around, subways. You know the streets, the the sculptures, the billboards. Oh, we're not quite ready to go down to the bar. Go back up to the uh, map view one more time. And uh, our other thing is that if you go over the bridge, mm -hmm. we sort of have this Marin County uh, Hills of Los Angeles style where you have the celebrity homes. And these are where we really went to town. Big pools in the backyard. Yeah, big homes, uh, hot tubs, which by the way is a big object that fans have wanted forever and we finally brought back. Yay, um, hot tubs. Yeah, hot tubs are fun. So let's go now back to the bar where the dudes are hanging out. We've got a lot of different bars, dance clubs, high-end lounges. We wanted mm -hmm. to have a lot of variety, lots of different stories that you could tell. And some have, you know, VIP access is required, you have to be a celebrity, but this is sort of a divey junkie bar. So <laughs> Easier first, to get in. Yeah, let's go to our, our dude who's already at the bar, Burgess, and we're gonna have him order a drink. One funny thing that you can unlock is, you know, it's not really a great night out if you're not, you know, just going wild. And we really want to have all these hilarious, awesome, classic moments. So let's order, um, yeah, I don't care. Cherry Casanova, that's a good one. No, 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 back. You're ordering it for this in. Go back. Yeah, order a yeah, party pooper is good. Or cherry cast, no, that's good too. So he's gonna order a drink. So one thing that's fun, if you go look at the mixologist, is lower level mixologists in lower level bars will tend to trip all over themselves and, and drop, drop their the, glass Yeah. And... They're they're just not very good at it. But when you go to the really nice high end bars, they're gonna be like flipping it over their head, lighting stuff on fire. It's really <laughs> great. So while, you know, she's a bit of a klutz and you watch her, she's a bit nervous and she's like, Oh, I think I'll eh, she's all well, right. She's doing her. okay. Still in our hand. Earlier when I was playing, she totally tripped all over herself. It was pretty sad. Um, <laughs> but entertaining. Yeah. yeah. And this is stuff that your sim can actually learn as well. We have a new mixology skill. You can make tons of different drinks, and then you can go to the bars and you can actually moonlight as a bartender. So. Oh, very cool. New jobs. So after he gets that drink, go ahead and send him to that table back there to start some dancing. Um, and meanwhile, let's look at our vampire sim. So vampires. Our vampires on Nightlife, which was the Sims 2 expansion pack about going out, were sort of Bella Lugosi, kind of goofy. Mm -hmm. We wanted our vampires to be really hip, really cool, really modern, and we took um, inspiration from a lot of different pieces of vampire fiction. Twilight? Um, not really, actually. That's something that our fans freaked out. They're like, please don't give us Jacob. Or, please don't make Jacob's him sparkly. Yeah, exactly. They're terrified of that, and they do not sparkle. Um, you notice Good he's a little pale. He's got the birthmark on his neck. He's got fangs, and his eyes glow. But if you click on the ground, we can actually start hunting with him. This is one of their powers. So there are sims that give him really powerful plasma. Okay. And so he's going to start hunting to find the sims in this bar who have the best plasma. Okay, so, so that's he, what they're sucking he on. starts <laughs> scanning, and you can see oh, the heat yeah. shimmer effect, uh, sort of inspired by Predator. I'm hoping some fans go on and make a Predator sort of sim movie with this. <laughs> um, but so what he's doing right now is he's scanning for the sims that have the best plasma. And and you how see do you tell? The whole one with like the red. Uh, somebody just fell out of the elevator. Um, <laughs> it slowly ticks down, and it's he's he's going to pick one who's the favorite. Oh, okay. um, I'm hoping it's a hot chick. That always works for my story because it just you know gives me one more reason to pursue them. And we'll see. So it's still going, still going. There's a lot of Sims in this bar. It's a hot spot. We have sort of a concept of some bars which are cool and some bars which aren't. It, it, it rotates constantly. That way the night's always alive. So I think it's going to pick the girl at the bar, which is oh, good okay. for us. So after it picks her, yeah, well, it's going to be Bianca Rubble. Yeah, it happens. She's got to fill that tummy. Uh, everybody's hungry. But after that, let's. Uh, Let's read her mind and see if she's actually single. Let's do the relationship at the bottom, yeah. And so, <laughs> so it matters before you bite them. <laughs> well, we you know need to know if this is worth pursuing. Okay. And so he's gonna. This is one of his vampire powers, so he's actually gonna read her mind. Oh. I um, mean, you can find out about their traits and all sorts of things. And it turns. Ooh, she's single. Excellent. I think this is a good move to go on forward. So let's click on her again. 
And let's, uh, we can't read her mind again, her mind's too frail, but let's make her think about you. <laughs> this is a way that you can sort of imprint your thoughts onto her. Mind and so control? Now, There's some, you're gonna of, get her to like you? Yeah, so if you look at her now, she, cheating. that's not cheating. <laughs> it's not cheating, it's only cheating if you get caught. And so now, he, she thinks, she's thinking about him, so we've got this nice little skill boost there. So he can go up and start socializing with her and actually send our other dude, let's have him dance on the table while they're conversing. <laughs> I want you to see this, this is a crazy animation. Yeah, right there. Dance on table. Yeah, dance on that one specifically. Yeah, to, I mean, to really wind it up, The Sims Late Night is all about just having a great night out of the town, lots of variety, things to explore. Mm -hmm. You could be a celebrity, you could be in a band, you could be a vampire, you could be a vampire celebrity who's also in a band. Four new instruments, upright bass, uh, piano, keyboard, drums, and then of course we brought in the guitar from, <laughs> from the bass game, and it's, oh, such good animations. Our animators are so top notch. So yeah, this is just, it's, it's been a really fun pack to make so far, and we're really, you know, can't wait for Sims. You know, fans to get their hands on it. All right, looks great. Looking forward to it. Now, uh, when's it coming out and on what platform? It's coming out for the PC and Mac on October 26th worldwide, mm -hmm. and can't wait for players to have their hands on it. All right, well, thank you so much for thank stopping you. by. And that was our look at The Sims 3 Late Night. Now, on with the rest of the show.